Today you will learn how to access ebooks on TextQuest EBSCO. I would suggest that you click on the sign in link, scroll to the bottom, and if you don't have an account, create one. This will allow you to use the folder feature. The folder is where you can place any information that you would like to access at a different time. Preferences allows you to choose how you want the information to be displayed. You can even choose a language to work in. There is a dictionary available. As you can see, there are other databases you can choose from. Right now, we are in the ebook collection by EBSCOhost. There are other resources and other ebook collections. If you're in middle school and high school, you can check off these boxes. There are several ways to search. You can type in a word. You can use a basic search, a more advanced search. You can even search your history. They do offer highlights with a slider and featured books also has a slider. On the left, you will notice that they have categories that you can use while browsing. If you click on a category, you'll see that you have many books populate. In order to decrease that number, you can do a basic search or you can refine your search. If you want a downloadable book, you click on that little box. If you want books that were written at a later time, let's say within 10 years, you will note that the number of books has decreased. You can also search by subject, publisher, language, and category. If that is still too many books for you to scroll through, you can do a basic search and type in a word or use other search options. As you can see, just by typing in hurricanes, the list of books has gone down to 433. Again, I can choose downloadable books. I can choose books that were written within the past 10 years. And if I want ebooks, you can see that number has significantly decreased. Again, you have other options to choose as well. Once you get to the number of books that you think is within reason to search through, you can look at the title as well as a picture of the cover and it'll have other information about the author and publisher and publication date, as well as subjects. It'll have a PDF full text link you can click on and a drop down menu on the table of contents and the most relevant relevant pages from this book. <clears throat> to open the book, you click on the PDF. Again, you see more informa the information about the book. You can jump to the different parts of the book just by clicking on a link or you can use the arrows. As you can see right now, the book is just so large, it doesn't fit on the page. So you can zoom out and you can zoom in. You can expand it. And you can go back to the size it was before. This will put that page all by itself on a separate screen. Again, you can turn the pages as you read.
And if you find a word that you don't know, just click on the escape button, go up to the dictionary, type in the word surge, and search it. There's the main entry, and it'll give you the pronunciation and the definition as well as more information. But different parts of speech as well, and word origin. You can add this to your folder. You can save the page. You can email it, print it, cite it. They have many different citation formats for you to choose from. Again, the dictionary we used, you can export the information. You can create a link to that page. You can send it to Google Classroom or Google Drive. You can check your folder if you have added something to it. And you can access this information at a later time. If you have any questions, you can contact your school librarian for help. I hope you enjoy searching for ebooks on EBSCOhost.